They're held up for the move, though, at yeah. least. Yeah, at least, they, at least it was sunny. No rain. Yeah, rain yeah. like falling on the, mm. on the restaurant <laughs> as they're moving <laughs> it from place to place. Yeah, today's been a beautiful day. A little mm -hmm. windy, a little chilly. Feels more like November 20-something yeah. than October. But, you know, we'll take it. At least yeah. it's dry. And unfortunately, we not we are not going to keep the sunshine in our forecast for the upcoming weekend because we are tracking a coastal storm. It's headed our way late Friday, but Saturday is going to be the bulk of it. And that means not the best start to the weekend. Makes some indoor plans. Let's take a look outside right now. It's a beautiful evening. You can see the shadows lengthening a bit there in Bethlehem as the sun prepares to go down. But blue sky, clear sky, a wicked little breeze from the north and west. You'll feel that when you step outside today. It's been blustery and that makes it feel a whole lot colder than the thermometer indicates. But that said, at least the sun is shining. Feels pretty good in the sunshine as long as you have the appropriate outerwear. 54 degrees in Philadelphia right now. It's 50 in Reading, 48 up in Allentown, already dropping pretty steadily here, and 38 in Mount Pocono. There are frost advisories for all of our surrounding suburbs here tonight as temperatures will plummet down into the middle 30s. And look at this drop in temperature. The last 24 hours. We have seen a pretty big departure from this time yesterday when it was relatively mild. We were in the mid to upper 60s at this time yesterday. Right now, well, we're about 10 to 15 degrees colder than that. And tonight's low will be a chilly 38 degrees even in the city. We're talking low to mid 30s across many of our suburbs leading to widespread frost, especially in the colder spots across interior South Jersey and up into our far north and west suburbs. Rural areas will drop a little bit more quickly tonight. Your Thursday high only only 53. Now that said, it's a full day of sunshine. It's a nice day to look at if you're inside getting dressed and be like, oh, it looks pretty nice out there. Then you step outside and you realize it's more than 10 degrees below average yet again. And winds out of the northwest, not as strong as today, but still 5 to 15 miles per hour. We are in a dry pattern, though high pressure and control for at least one more day. Clouds are going to start to increase tomorrow night out ahead of this advancing storm. But the bulk of this storm, as it starts to slide across the southeast and up the coast, will be felt on Saturday. So moving through the end of the week, there's that high keeping us protected here for today. It's going to start to move away. There's that strong low, which is creating the strong winds, the pressure gradient for today. That gradient does relax a bit tomorrow, so it's not as windy with high pressure overhead. Friday, we're still just barely under the influence of that high. So most of the day is dry, but that shifts off the coast and this coastal low will start to make some progress. It's actually going to steer almost right up the eastern seaboard. So eyes are turning to the weekend. Tomorrow is sunny and chilly. It's quiet. Clouds increasing Friday, but that weekend system will follow the coast. And let's break it down region by region. What to expect the Poconos rain all day Saturday, possibly even a few wet snowflakes mixed in. Looks like this is mainly going to be a rain system, not a snowmaker for most of our area, but the Poconos could see a few flakes mix in Philly and the suburbs heavy rain at any time Saturday, especially the first half of the day. This will continue into Saturday evening, though. It just looks like the heaviest is early. It's blustery as well. Showers may linger Sunday and then South Jersey and Delaware. The rain starts Friday night. Saturday is the worst of it with heavy rain and gusty winds. Winds could gust upwards of 50 miles an hour at the coast as the storm strengthens offshore and our models in pretty good agreement. The GFS and the European model both with about an inch and a quarter of rain in Philadelphia with some higher amounts upwards of two inches possible, especially along the coastline. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. Look at this stretch of low to mid 50s, not seeing any seasonable days in the foreseeable future. Eventually, the averages are just going to catch up with these cold temperatures and we'll be right on target. But it's feeling much more like November as we head through the last seven days of October. Rain Saturday, more rain Monday. A little bright spot, though, as of now, it looks like Halloween is dry. Okay, that's most important. So the costumes yeah. will be preserved. <laughs> right. You can't have King Kong walking around with an umbrella. That <laughs> no. just doesn't no. totally right. messes everything up. <laughs> totally. Thank you so sure. much.